Hello guys, welcome to my channel. To fix this error, the first step is to repair Xbox app. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box and then make a right click on Xbox app and then click on app settings. Or you can simply go to apps, open Windows settings and then go to apps and then go to installed apps and then find Xbox app in the list. You can type in Xbox app over here. And then in front of it, you will see three dots. Click on it and then go to advanced option. If you have Windows 10, click click on Xbox and then you will see advanced option. Go to advanced option and then scroll down. And then you will see the repair option. So click on repair. Now, once the repair is complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check you should not receive this error. But still, you are facing the problem. Just below the repair option, you will see the reset option. You can open, go to apps, install apps, Xbox app, advanced option, and then click on reset. And then click on reset. And once the reset is complete, the reset will take some time. So it may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. Once the reset is complete, you can restart your computer. And after the system restart, check you should not receive this error. But still you are receiving the error. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app. Now for this, you can type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app, then click on uninstall and then click on uninstall. Once the uninstall is complete, now restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can open Microsoft Store on your computer and in the search box on the top type in Xbox app and then you can click on Xbox app and then you can install it in my case it is already installed so you can install it and then check now still you are receiving the error message the next step is to now if you don't need Xbox app if you don't need Xbox app then you can uninstall it so you can simply uninstall the Xbox app and then delete platform game platform services dll from system 32 folder. Before you delete it, you can create a backup first. In case if you need it, you can always restore the file. So first of all, type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app and then click on uninstall, uninstall, and let the uninstall complete. Now once the uninstall is complete, you have to restart your computer. Now restart is a must. Now after the system restart, open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open windows folder, now open system 32 folder. And then over here in system 32, you have to search for this game platform services .dll file. So in the search box on the top right here, you can see search system 32. Just paste the name of the file over here. That is game platform services .dll. Now, before you delete this file, you can just copy this file. And then you can create a backup. You can just uh, paste it on the desktop. Once you have the backup over here, now you can make a right click and then click on delete and continue. Now, once this is deleted, now it's deleted. So let me refresh it. It's deleted now. Now, once this is deleted, now, now you can restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. You should not receive the error message. Now, still you are receiving the error message. Then in that case, you have to get out of the S mode. So most of the user uh, who has Windows 11 in S mode are receiving this error. So you can, if you want to get out of S mode, but let me inform you, once you switch out of S mode, that will be permanent. So if you agree, you can watch this video. I made a separate video on how to get out of S mode. The link is provided in the video description. So you can open this link in a browser and it will take you to a YouTube video. And here you can see I made a separate video on how to switch out of S mode. So you can follow the steps from here. And once uh, you, you are out of the S mode, now you can check. You should not receive the error. 
but still you are receiving the error in that case you can perform step 1 step 2 and step 3 so you can try try to repair reset if that does not work you can uninstall and reinstall xbox app and that should fix the problem so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel